What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48. Welcome back to the forest. I'm doing some off-camera work here, getting some sticks in here, storing some rocks, you know. I'm going to be doing a lot of this off-camera because, you know, it's just putting sticks in here, right? But I am going to be working on this bad boy today, all right? And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the stairway and then put down the, the ceiling. Now, I might not get done with it today, and that's because this is not going to be the whole video. The whole video is, well, the whole video is going to be half me going to get the da -da -da -da, katana. And the other half is going to be me working on that thing. By the way, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed in my last screenshot, or maybe the screenshot before last. I don't remember which one it was. Um, but I did, I did change the color of the ghost images. And you could do that right here. Ghost building tint. You know, you got blue. Um, I guess that's like, yeah, gray. Um, and green. I'm going to leave it on green because that's what I'm used to. I just thought it'd be pretty cool to, you know, change the color for that screenshot. Be I figured it would be a talking point. People would be like, hey, Cage, how'd you, how'd, you get to, how'd you get that to be purple? Why didn't you tell us? Well, I just wanted it to be a surprise. Uh, that video just went up, so there's no comments on it yet, but I can't wait to see the comments. I'm hoping people will be like, wow, Cage, you're the best YouTuber ever. You have purple ghost images. I want to watch every video you make. Well, that's the idea. <laughs> I'm going to take some uh, blueberries with me, too. I don't expect to be in the caves for long. And there is going to be a mutant in, um, in the area. I can avoid him, but I probably won't. Uh, I'm probably going to grab the katana and then, and then fight him. It's armsy. And um, I don't like the idea of him being down there all alone. He probably gets lonely. So I think I'll just kill him. That way he's not lonely. All right. That's sound logic, right? Sure, why not? All right, we're going to go ahead and save right here. All right, so one thing I noticed in one of my most recent videos is everyone seems to be concerned that that platform is going to get knocked over. Now, I'm kind of of two minds on this. My first instinct is to be, what the hell are you talking about? That platform ain't going nowhere, bro. It ain't going nowhere. By the way, if you want to show overlay icons, right now I can't see my flag. I turn it off, right? Because when it's on, there's like a million hammers over there. But I needed to see the flag. Uh, to go this way. So I'll just let you guys know that. But anyway, with my platform getting knocked over, I'm on two minds. I'm thinking, on one hand, keep your whore mouth shut. If you talk shit about how your platform's never going to go down and it's so awesome and perfect, and it does get knocked down, you're going to look like a jackass. And then the other part of me is like, I've made big platforms like that before. If you guys watched, what, the last three seasons? I made those platforms every single season. And I've always built in high density uh cannibal areas on purpose i do it on purpose because i want to be attacked i know i sound like i'm annoyed a lot and i am but that's just me i'm from new jersey i'm always annoyed getting up in the morning annoys me you know um but yeah i mean i do like to be attacked all the time because that makes it exciting what are you building defenses for if you're not going to get attacked all the time right i like to be attacked so i always i'm not going to get that there he'll probably go bad by the time i get home um, so I always build in high trafficked areas. So I've built that platform like at least in four Let's Plays I can think of in the recent past. Like four seasons, you know. Uh, and yeah, maybe... Oh, fucking Virginia. You know what, Virginia? I don't need this. I don't need this. I'm just going to get the hell out of here. Freaking, she might, she might be too fast for me. I need to go this way, by the way. I wanted to show you guys where this place was. So this is the cannibal camp. I might have to fight her. It depends on how much, uh... Wait, why am I so slow? I have stamina. That's kind of weird. Uh, well, hold on. She might be done with me. Okay. Alright, cool. I'm trying to show you guys where this place is. So I'm, I'm trying not to make too many cuts. Uh, I shouldn't have to. If I get lost and I can't figure out how to get there, I'll make a cut. But I'm pretty sure I know exactly where this cave system is. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, I don't think that that... I don't think that, pl that platform is going to get knocked down. Someone was like, oh, if one tree hits it, the whole thing's going to come down. I might do it. I might actually chop down a tree on it in the, at the end of this video just to prove to you that that's not the case. Those big platforms take damage, but they don't go down right away. And they can actually take quite a bit of damage. And it's really cool because when they start taking damage, you know, like the, the support legs underneath it, um, they'll start like getting broken out. So you like lose support legs and it looks really cool. And like if it does, if they do a significant amount of damage to it, you can't just go over there and repair it with sap like everything else. You have to actually um, put logs into it. Uh, the, the damage repair thing is really, really freaking dope. Okay. So I think this, uh, 
cave system is right over here. Over there, there's a little, um, a little island, like a very tiny island, and that's where the cockpit used to be back in the day. All right, so I think, yeah, we're definitely in the right area. I just have to find the cave, and I think it's up against one of these, one of these walls somewhere. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I, I think that platform is going to be fine. And everyone's like, well, mutants can break everything. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't fight the mutants at my base. Like, if mutants attack my base, I run them off into the woods and fight them out in the, out in the open. Um, I don't know of any real, real deal, you know, mutant killing base defense that I feel comfortable using. Some people have told me them of them before, but... Oh, Jesus. Cowman and Armsy, dude. Go f*** yourself. I would have like... I'm sorry. Um, I would have liked to uh, show you guys... Uh, where the uh, area was, but I don't really need to because there we go. I don't really need to because I walked the whole way here on video. You knew exactly where I was, and you know how to get here, and you can just follow the video. Uh, but if I remember when I go back up there to leave, I'll look at the map anyway. All right, that should be pretty good. I think I'm actually going to go in during editing and make it even more bright than it would naturally be, even with the settings like they are. Um, but we'll see. Sometimes it makes it too bright and washed out when I do that, so we'll see. All right. Oh, what do we got here? What do we have here? Oh, it's one of Timmy's toys. It's the torso. Awesome. All right, what's this? That looks like a Timmy drawing. No, I drew that, actually. I'm, a, I'm an artist. No, nah, it's Timmy with his little, little thing. And this is a bunch of crosses on wooden boards in a cave. Okay, well, that's kind of weird. Okay. Um... We got over here, nothing. Another skull I can't carry. All right, let's go up here. All right, so up here and to the right, there's gonna be an armsy. You need to go to the left. You may kill armsy if you like. Um, I might actually kill him anyway, because I don't like his punk ass. Although, I don't have any bombs with me, because I didn't stop at the cannibal camp to get bombs, because I didn't have time. Um, all right, we're gonna kill him anyway, because fuck him. Uh, I can make some bombs, can I? Like some real deal bombs? Uh, uh, circuit board. Uh, duct tape, duct tape, uh, watch, money, and booze. Money and... Mother freaker, I made all my booze in the Molotovs. Alright, it is what it is. See, it's not so much that it's armsy, it's that these other guys are here too. Uh, I don't really have any bombs to throw at me. Let's light them on fire. Hold on there, guy. Okay. See if we can get these guys on fire. I'll throw one more just for the lols. There you go. Really? Okay. Look pretty close to him to me. I don't know. He doesn't seem too bothered either. Well, I still got my hairspray. There you go. Oh, arms he's pissed. He's like, you don't light my friend on fire. All right, Armsy. Gets to go, bro. Oh, he is not happy. What the hell just happened? Oh, do I? I don't have any arrows left. All right, this is gonna be fucked. Um, <laughs> I, I can't believe I don't have any arrows left. Caged, you fool. Uh, what do I have to kill Armsy with? Uh, I guess I could shoot him with the flare gun and hope for the best. This should be pretty fun. He was gonna be easy, but there you go. Okay, and we we'll run around here. Let the fire take effect. Fire has been extremely nerfed in this game, so didn't do as much damage as it used to. But uh, yeah, actually, it might be more fun since I don't have all the usual toys. So he'll be more like harder to kill. More harder to kill. I'm pro at English. goes. He's on fire again. He doesn't seem to be chasing me that well. It looks like he's like almost like stuck. Alright, tough guy. He almost done burning? Alright, he's almost done burning. There you go. There's another one. He's, a, he's like, why do you keep lighting me up? Oh, jeez. He is not happy. You coming down here or not? Is he dead? He's dead. 
Wow, we burned the fuck out of this guy. All right. Well, the good news is I got more creepy armor. That is dope. I'm going to leave the other guys alive because I don't give a shit. Like, what's the point? Well, the point is I don't like them. Now, you know what? Let's get the katana and then we'll slice them and dice them. How about that? Oh, that worked out pretty well. I thought I was in trouble when I did... Oh, God, I can't see anything. Oh, you know what I could do? I forgot. I can make a torch. Uh, it's like an upgraded stick. You put, like... I think you put a stick in the middle and it makes an upgraded stick. I don't remember how I did it. But that makes a torch. Yeah, man. I thought I was in trouble when I didn't have any arrows or bombs or anything. I mean, you know. I forgot the, uh... You know. Freaking flare gun ain't too bad. Ain't too bad. Alright, so this is so easy. This, this katana, you can get... Obviously, you can get this on day one. I don't know why I didn't... Like, easily get this on day one. Like, you don't have to fight Armsy. Like, at all. I fought him because he's a dick. I hear something else. Just my imagination, I guess. There we go! The katana! Uh, we can get some more circuit boards out of these. There we go. Uh, there's booze. So we can make bombs. There's cloth. There's intestines. There's watches. There's soda. There's food. Yeah, I should eat this food. It's This food is about two feet away from someone's intestines out, out on their outside. And it, God knows how rotten it is. Look, look. This food's right next to a head. Let's look, look at this food. Yeah, oh yeah. Mm, yum, yum. Down the hatch. What is it? Well, watch out, gums. Here it comes. What was that? That was in Twins, right? Over the lips and th past the gums. Watch out. Something here. I don't know. I don't remember. I haven't seen Twins in a while. All right. So are we good down here? Can't hold any more of that. And I think we got about everything. Let's go Um, let's go slice and dice some cannibals. I'm going to finish these bitches. I'm going to get them. And then we're going to go up. And uh, once we go upstairs... Back to base, we are going to make, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna put the stairs in the roof on the, um, on that, cra uh, storage room. That storage room came out really nice, I'm really happy with it. It's gonna take a lot more sticks, but I'll get it done. I will get it done, we gotta put that away. Okay, and now, for you, dickheads. Uh, wait, that's the way it went. Uh, yeah, that's the way I went. I guess I gotta go this way to get to them. I thought I could circle around, but I guess not. That's fine. Here we go. Yeah. Whoa. Watch out now. Oh, hold on. We are out of, um... We're out of energy mix. Wait, we're not out of energy mix. How come I couldn't use it? Wait, where's the energy mix? I'm confused. The energy mix should be on there, although it's not telling me where I could put it, but that's okay. There we go. I just, I guess, I guess I hit the button too quick. There we go. I'm not doing too good because I can't really see well. These guys are pretty tough, too. But I got them. And they didn't even hit me. Or if they did hit me, they didn't hit me enough to, uh, to take out any armor. Oh, this freaking guy. This freaking... These guys... Man, these cannibals are fucked. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I don't mean to curse so much, but these cannibals are freaking... Just, they need to be all be put down. I'm just going to be honest. All right, what I'm going to do now is we're going to go back up top. I'm going to climb up the rope to the top, and then I'm going to show you on the map uh, just because I, I want to show you guys on the map. Uh, like I said, I came here on video. You guys know where I live in the game. You know where the, cannib the main cannibal camp is. So you should be able to find this place really easy. But just in case you can't, I'm going to get up there and show you what it looks like on the map. So when we went down below, there was a lot of cannibals up here. Uh, but I think when you go into the caves, things unload and then reload when you come back up. So they're probably gone. Uh, let me show you where we are on the map really quick. All right. That's where the Katana Cave is. Easily could get it day one with no issues. Freaking dope. Okay. So I'm going to get home. I'm probably going to sleep through the night, have a nice breakfast, and then we're going to work on the storage building. You know, I like chopping down trees with the axe, but man, I really miss the dynamite. I haven't had dynamite in a while. I haven't gone over and gotten any. And um, since I came home with some, I went ahead and threw one piece, and uh, yeah, it is really, really nice. I gotta make sure to go get more dynamite. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Dynamite, soda, cloth, rope. I mean, if you're gonna build in this game, you really should use that, that you know, cannibal camp as a hub. Like, build next to it. Be able to get to it within, like, you know, a minute or something. 
A lot of people want me to build in the um, snow biome. They're like, building the snow biome for a challenge. I'm like, um... I'm like, yeah, I don't really like the snow biome. There's, there's nothing up there. Like, it's not that there's nothing up there that can... Like, it's not that there's nothing up there that can help me. I don't mind the challenge. It's just there's nothing up there. Like, it's just boring. You know, simply boring. Um, by the way, uh, this is why... Right here you see all the hammers and stuff, like, everywhere. This is why I turn off this show overlay icons sometimes. Yeah, there's just, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't, it feels kind of boring. I don't really like the snow biome, to be honest. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Is there interesting stuff up there? I've been out there before. I don't see anything interesting up there. The cockpit and the boars, that's about it, you know? Also, I'm getting cold during the night all the time, and even not when it's night, but if it's raining. So I think I'm going to make the rabbit fur boots when I get a chance. And I think it takes, like, two or three rabbit fur, so it's gonna, you know, I'm gonna need some rabbit fur. I'm also gonna need four rabbit fur? I think it's four rabbit fur for the, uh, bed. So I'm gonna need, like, seven rabbit fur for just the things I want to do right now. And, um, I don't know if you can tell, but I, ha I haven't been hunting rabbits. <laughs> I kill them every once in a while when I come across them, but for the most part, you know, not really hunting them. This is my go-to for sticks, by the way. I don't know. It's just, it's nice. The, uh... The bone spear might actually be better, but the thing is, like, I want to keep it on my hotbar, or, like, not, you know, on my quick quick selection keys. One is one is the katana, two is the bow, we need to go get more arrows as well. Um, three is the modern axe, and four is drink, which I shouldn't have drank, I'm an idiot. I was like, oh, I'll show them what I have in the number four slot, and it's drink. Cage, you are too much. Uh, more blueberries? Am I full on blueberries? I am, but we're going to go ahead and pick some more anyway. My uh, blueberry farm is getting low, and I usually, I usually like to wait until my blueberry farm is 100% like out of blueberries, like, and then I I tear down all the the bushes and I make new ones. Uh, I guess I could kind of like gently find out find the ones that have blueberries and don't, and get rid of the ones that don't, and replant. I don't know. I think what I'm gonna do is what I normally do is I make two gardens, and one is, I, I fill them both up with blueberries and I eat all in one. And then I chop that down and I plant more. And then I eat all the other ones in the other. And I kind of like crop rotation type of thing. Except not really crop rotation. It's just like having two crops up means I'm never uh, short on food. Wait, two logs? Yeah, I don't think so. Try four logs, bro. That's nah, good enough. I know it's not full, but uh, it, it can't hold the whole tree. And I don't think like having four logs in the ground only take me two. So we won't do that. We're just going to take things back and we're going to go ahead and do some building. On the way back, by the way, um, I ran into two blue mutants. Now, blue mutants are like a tougher variation of the regular mutants. Um, I feel like making the blue is a little bit... It's retro, right? Do you guys remember playing retro games? I'm in a retro kick right now. As you could tell in the episode before last, I have, a, I have arcade systems behind me now. But here's the thing. Like... It reminds me of... Re it's very retro to have things like... Oh, this guy's stronger. He's just a different color. I mean, how many retro games did that, right? Like, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I know they did. I know Dragon Warrior did that. Remember, it would have, like, a wizard attack you, and then, like, you know, you'd gain, like, four or five levels. And then it was another wizard, but it was named a Warlock, and it looked just like the wizard, except it was blue. You know? And I kind of like that. I don't know why. I know it's kind of lazy and, like, easy, but... I, I like it. I like colors. Uh, as you can tell, by the way, I took that one screenshot with the purple the purple uh, ghost images. But, I don't know. I, I kind of digging it. I'm kind of digging it. Shit, I should have I saved the game before I made this. Alright, let's go save it now. Because I'm not sure if that's going to line up properly. And uh, if it doesn't, I'm going to have to reload it. You know, I keep forgetting to talk about this and we need to talk about this. Um, people in the comments are giving me so much SHIT about the fact that, like... I don't know how to, like, upgrade weapons and stuff, or I don't know if you can, or maybe I'm just not talking about it, I'm not really sure. Um, but, yeah, I know all about upgrading weapons. I thought I've talked about it in past videos, I'm pretty sure I have, but just in case I haven't. If you want to, like, take the modern axe, right, and you want it to be faster, because, can you see the stats on, I guess you can't see the stats on the modern axe without putting something in the middle. Uh, yeah, where's the stats on the modern axe? Is it, are they over here? Yeah, there they are. Okay, so the speed on the modern axe is slow, damage is really high, block is through the roof. So, what you could do is you could put feathers in here to make it faster. And I think I'm going to do that. We'll put ten feathers in here just for the lulls. I don't know how much of that I actually need. 
But you can see right there what it'll do. It'll up the speed. You see the green? You see how speed is blue and then green? The green means that's the benefit you're going to get from this. Now, you're going to lose some damage doing this, but I'm okay with that. And we're going to put some feathers on there. All right. And that makes it faster because feathers and stuff. Oh, God. They're actually... Why are they on the axe? Can I turn that off? That looks so bad. Like, <laughs> I appreciate the, you know, the idea, but that just looks like shit. Like... First of all, feathers are not going to make an axe faster. Um, in order to make axes faster, you should have to find, like, certain grips, you know, for the for the axe's, like, handle or something. Not glue feathers to the axe. I'll tell you what. You guys go in your you go, you guys go in your garage, grab the uh, grab an axe, a metal axe, and glue some feathers to it and see how, see how much faster you can swing it after that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, I don't mind the feathers being a thing. I just wish it didn't show up on the axe because it doesn't look good. Uh, all right, this came out not perfect, but I think it's going to be good enough. Let's go ahead and put a roof on this thing. Hopefully the roof will go on this easy. I don't know because of the way I built it. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Wow, that is really, yeah, that came out really nice. It's not perfect, but th this wall, I mean, it's, it's damn close to perfect. It's more perfect than it has any right to be. I might actually tear down these stairs and yeah, I'm gonna tear down these stairs and redo them. But let's get the roof done. I'll I'll consider this finished for this for this video. But I'm gonna tear down these stairs and redo them. They didn't come up far enough. Uh, so yeah, what are we gonna need? Um, sixty something logs. Okay. All right then. Let's start that now. Uh, yeah, so you can you can upgrade uh, weapon damage, weapon speed. Uh, I know weapon damage is you put teeth whenever you kill mutants or like bash on mutants you get teeth i have a bunch of them in my inventory you can glue the teeth to the um to the weapons to give them more damage but if you give them more damage it lowers the speed and if you put feathers on it give them more speed it lowers the damage there's one exception um i believe you can put glass on there yeah yeah this is supposed to be like glass right and you can put glass on there glass just straight up ups the damage and as far as i know it doesn't lower the the it doesn't lower the um you know the speed now there people have done uh you know work on the wikis telling you exactly what will be perfect for each item and um you know i already started putting stuff in the axe i think what i'm gonna do is maybe i'll go get another axe because uh, you can i can go down and get another axe i can get as many axes as these i want because they they respawn when i leave the area um so what i'll what i'll think i'll do is at some point i'll do the research on the wiki and i'll find out the exact you know perfect mixture of things um for the axe and i will uh you know just go get another axe and set up a perfect axe uh the exception is the katana you can't put mods on the katana uh you can't mod it in any way as far as i know and that's a shame because well it makes sense it's, the katana is op it's really strong so and once you get your strength up you know it takes me two uh swings to take down one thing of bushes when you get your strength up that'll take one swing god darn it um, yeah, when you get your strength up, that'll that'll go down to one swing. And when you start really getting your strength up, the cannibals, you know, you're gonna melee them, and they're just gonna get they're gonna get the shit kicked out of them. It's it's, it's insane. Um, I don't tend to do a lot of meleeing though. I, I do like the bow. All right, you gonna stay up here? All right, I don't mind falling. You stay up there. Well, shit. I just saw some cannibals over here, and I was like, eh, you know, I'll deal with these assholes. And then I heard, you know. So this isn't good. You know what, guys? I think I'm gonna go get some arrows. It's I'm being forced to. Uh, we're we're probably not gonna get everything done that I wanted to get done at this point. Um, inside, but I will get the roof finished no matter what by the end of this video. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm gonna go get some arrows. Hopefully, what I'll do is if I walk off, and I come back, everyone will be gone. It, it does that sometimes. Uh, but yeah. Uh, fighting these guys without arrows is just, uh, it's not smart, and I've just, um, well, I've been trying to build, so I haven't had time to come over and get them. So I'm gonna get some arrows, we're gonna head back to base, and that sounded like Armsy, so we'll have to see if he's still there when we get back. We're back at base. I don't hear anything? I'm still in the process of taking down this wall, by the way. Now, the thing is, I need a lot of sticks, and, like, I'm gonna do the sticks over time, because I need a lot of sticks. And they, they, oh, no, he's still there. Two of them? Yeah, that's a cowman and a cowman and armsy, two armsies and a cowman. I want to try and see if I can do the bone zone, but I gotta save the game first. I got an idea. I got an idea. 
I've never actually tested the bone zone against mutants. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game. Okay. And then I'm going to go in the bone zone and see how the mutants handle it. I think that would be pretty freaking dope. Uh, save right here. Okay. And I gotta get on my thing. I got sticks to set up the bones. Alright, this will be pretty interesting. This will be pretty interesting. They're gonna knock them, I think, pretty quickly, though. Um, so I gotta try and get him from this side. Which is going to be tough. Sometimes you could kind of run up this. There we go. Okay. Alright. I think Cowman will run right in. See Cowman? I think he'll run right in here, but I don't think Armsy can get in here. Or unless he destroys the, the things. Now, they're just walking by. I could just let them go. Well, you know what? No, we gotta test this. Oh, I think I hit him. Don't break down my building. Come on, cow man. I'm pretty sure I hit them because they're going ape shit, but I don't think they know where I am. Come on, dipshit. There you go. Okay, now he knows where I am. Let's see what it, let's see how this works. Oh, okay, it messed them up pretty good. Oh, that one didn't even go off. Oh, I didn't finish that one. Of course it didn't go off. Look at that one shot. Guys, I think this thing might work against... Uh, God, if the bone zone works against mutants... Oh my god, we should probably finish this. I keep running out, and I keep forgetting this one's not finished. Alright, you know what? There we go. God, is the bone zone gonna... Be Guys, if the bone zone is gonna be affecting against mutants, GG no re, because that's it. Now, are they gonna come back? Should I stay in here? I don't know. I hear them, but I don't see them. Wow, it's getting windy. Oh, hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna get Cowman. I believe Cowman will run right through this thing. Uh, I don't think he'll destroy it. Damn, man, I want them to come over here. I shouldn't have finished this because I could have just ran in. Shoot. <laughs> the thing is, I won't be able to get in here easily if they're following me. I'm, I don't know if I'm hitting them or not. Ah, fuck it. Alright, hold on. Okay. Let's try and get their attention. They could break down this building in like a second. This thing I'm climbing up right now, they could break this down real quick. So if I come up here, I gotta get the hell out quickly. Damn it, they're still walking away. Fuck this. Let's get him. There you go. Alright. Cowman's a mother effer, I'm telling you. Yep. He's like, you can't like really dodge him easily. Alright, hold on. Hold on. Come on, come on, come on. Get in there. Yes. Now Cowman could run right through this. Oh god, they broke it. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're freaking down everything! Oh, fuck you. Stop dodging, you asshole. Where are you going? Oh, he keeps breaking my shit. See, I think Cowman really broke it more than the other guy. Armsy, that is. There you go, Cowman. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna kill you before I restart the game. Oh, God. <laughs> He's tough, man. He's tough to dodge. Alright, you know what? Let's do this, cow man. You wanna dance? You got an ugly ass, bro. That's right. Hey, you like me now, cow man? Oh, maybe this is the way to kill him. I've never actually tried to melee cow man before. So, yeah, maybe you're just supposed to get behind him. He doesn't look like he can charge if you do that. I don't know how he died. I must have hit him by mistake or something. Yeah. All right, well. Oh, those are mutant babies. It's kind of weird because mutant babies come from Virginia, and I didn't see Virginia. I mean, I saw her earlier, but... All right, well, that's a bit of a bummer. All right, let's go finish... Man, talk about getting sidetracked. Let's go finish up the storage building roof. So I reloaded the game, all my stuff is back, and we're good to go. Let's finish up the storage building, or at least the roof of it. 
I was gonna like try and finish up all the stuff on the inside, but it's just you know I'm getting distracted. This video is already going really long. I'm gonna have to make some lights in here as well. So let's go ahead and build that one. I want to kind of see if I can get logs in that one from the uh, window. So I never really thought that the bone zone would hold up against mutants. It's really designed for you know fighting the little guys. So you know I don't know of anything mutants can't break. So <laughs> really like if you're gonna fight mutants. You don't fight them around your base. You take them out in the field, and you fight them there. And they're very killable, so it's not like it's really that big of a deal. So, um, Plus, I kind of like fighting them. They're exciting. They are exciting. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this bad boy up. I don't know how many. Uh, a few more. Like, ten more. One more log sled will do it. And then we will have the roof and staircase all done. We got the katana. We had a lot of mutant fights. Crazy freaking episode. Crazy freaking episode. I was hoping to get, like I said, I was hoping to get all the stuff on the inside of this thing done today, but it's just, it's been a crazy day, you know? The, sometimes the mutants just don't want you to build stuff, you know? I guess I could have avoided those mutants, but I don't know. I want to fight them, right? I want to fight them. You guys want to see me fight them? I want to fight them. Plus, I think if you don't kill them, like, I think they keep coming. Like, like they kind of wander around the map, and like, you know what I mean? I think if you kill them, you'll get, you, you won't see any for a little bit. You know, you get a little bit of a peaceful time. Maybe just regular cannibals. That's it? I didn't hear the cha-ching. Nope, that's not it. It wouldn't let me put the last log in there. That was kind of weird. Hmm. Hmm. There it is. Yep, just one more. There we go. Now we've got a roof. So what I'll do it, what I'll do over here is I'll probably put some kind of very basic stick fencing around here. And then that'll probably be it. It's just some, somewhere to come up so I can, like, look over and see what's going on over there. You know, nothing... I'm not really going to do much up here. All right, cool. Well, we got that done. All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.